my parts. Oh wait, I'm broke as hell. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Cody here with CJ Build. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Now, if you guys are here strictly for how to do the valve stamp seals, fast forward to this timestamp right here because I know how it is when you're watching a video to learn how to fix something on your car and the guy starts yapping for 20 minutes before the actual install. But if you are here for CJ Built, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel today. I'm going to be showing you an older video. Um, I never aired it. Don't ask me why. I never ended up posting the video, but it's basically when we did the valve stem seal change on the beams with the motor still in it. And yes, shortly after we ended up taking out the motor. So all that stress was for nothing, but it was honestly a good experience to be able to see how it's done. And it really wasn't too hard. It was a little tedious, especially getting the, the clips to hold the actual valve spring in. But you guys see that now. So today's gonna be a short video, just kind of showing you how it goes, what happens, and what we used. On screen now, I'm gonna be putting a kit that I found online that's similar to the one that we used. I couldn't find the exact one that we purchased, but that is the closest one I was able to find. So if you're looking for a kit to do this on your car, then this is probably gonna be one that's similar to that one. So you guys have a reference to go off of when looking for a kit that comes with all the pieces that we used. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're taking out the valve seals and stuff with the head still in the car. So if all goes well, then you guys are going to be watching a video on how we did it. It's a pain having to take apart this whole motor again, but we got to get it running. I'm not going to really show you guys the whole the whole breakdown process because if you want to see the disassembly, you have that on episode one. This video, I'm literally going to jump straight to doing the valve seals. All right, guys, so first things first, you're going to want to mount the brackets on the front and the back of the head to make sure you have a proper angle to be able to run the rod through to be able to get the right leverage over the valve spring. Once you run the rod through and see that you have proper leverage, you're able to press down the spring properly. Begin to pressurize the head with air from a compressor. On a motor like this, we have buckets. So we move the buckets and shims off to be able to access the valve spring. Lower the valve spring and use a magnet to collect the two clips that hold the spring into place. Remove the valve spring and gently remove the valve seal that you're going to be switching out. Oil up the new valve stem seals. Place them down. You're able to get a socket as well and just lightly tap them in, but please do not use too much force as you can rip them very, very easily. Begin to replace the valve spring. While applying pressure, apply the clips into place again. This is probably the most difficult part, at least for smaller engines. Putting the clips on both sides and make sure they lock. That way when you take off the compressor, you are able to have it locked into place. Once they're in place, give it a few taps to make sure they don't fall out of place. Now you may place the shims and buckets back on. And that is a valve stem seal changed. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I know it was a shorter video than usual, but we got the valve stem seals changed. And I know it was a while ago, but now you saw the process and how we got it done. So, right now I'm going to cut the video off here. And I'm going to go film next week's video. Catch you on the next video.